trying to sell me. Hi there, it's Nancy Tierney from firecrackercommunications.com and I want to ask you, have you ever been sold to by someone who didn't give a rat's ass about you? <laughs> someone who just wanted you to buy what it was that they were selling. They didn't care whether you needed it or not. You know, they just wanted you to buy it so they could get their commission and then move on to the next unsuspecting victim. They didn't really even see you or care what it was that you really wanted or needed or whether what it was that you were selling was even right for you. They didn't care about any of that. It just feels horrible, doesn't it? To have someone just kind of come at you with the intention of just selling you as opposed to caring about what it is that you really need and want, right? On the other hand, have you ever had a salesperson who really did want to help you? someone who really did care about providing you with the perfect solution for you. Maybe it was a retail experience where you were shopping for the perfect outfit for this big event you were going to. And this salesperson just bent over backwards, trying to find all the pieces that you needed, making sure that you really liked it, listening to what it was that you had to say, and getting the importance of this event to you and just doing whatever she could to put together something that made you feel happy and made you feel good. And you left not only happy about your purchase and excited about the event, but also feeling really great about the experience. You left feeling cared for. You left feeling almost like connected to this person and, and you had kind of this wonderful experience. I mean, that's real retail therapy, really, when it happens that way. Well, that's the way I want you to sell, by being of service, by caring about what's right for your client, by bending over backwards and doing whatever it is that you need to do to find the perfect solution for him or her. That's also how I want you to write your copy, from that deep desire to be of service, to serve your clients with love and respect and a genuine care for his or her well-being. Because when you write your copy from that place and with that intention, your words have magic in them. They have medicine in them. Your client will feel that and it will create that connection. They will feel seen and heard and understood and cared for. And that does create that intimacy and that connection that allows them to lean in, to hear more as opposed to back away because they're being sold to. You know, the body knows. We know the difference. <laughs> we know the difference and we react in kind. So by writing with that intention, your copy with that intention to serve, your words will have the power to create the kind of connection that yes, will allow your words to sell and to serve and to even change people's lives. So the next time you have something to write, a piece of copy to write to your clients, I want you to ask yourself a few questions before you do. Ask yourself, how can I best be of service to my clients right now? How can what it is I have to say, share, or sell move them closer to more of what they need and want? How can it provide a perfect solution for them? And what is it that they need to hear or know right now that will make a positive impact in their lives? How can I let my words be of service as well as the work that I do in the world? Okay, ask yourself those questions and then write from there. I know that you're eager to attract more clients. I know that you wanna make sales. I know that you wanna find the perfect words that are gonna get people to open their wallets and buy. This will do it but it will do it in a way that feels good to you, in a way that is of service, in a way that creates a long relationship of trust with your clients. And it will make it easier 
for you to write copy because it'll be so, the words will come from you when you are writing from that place. Okay? So if you need some help with this, if you're struggling with the structure of how to do this and how to find the right words that will actually communicate what it is that you want to say in a way that expresses this genuine desire to be of service, hit me up. I have always got ways to do that. I've always got, I've always got things that I can offer you to help you with this. Okay. So that's it for now. And, uh, thanks for hanging around and listening and, uh, go forth and let your words be of service and let yourself sell from a place of care and the desire to really make a positive change in your clients' lives.